Hey Jason, my name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing and we had spoken on the phone last week. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. The only thing I do ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But the three things we'll be going over will be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and that's going to be anything that you can see on your site here. It does include the words, but also the pictures and what your pictures are saved as. And Google likes to see about 1,500 words on the home page of a website. But within those 1,500 words, that gives you all the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching when they're looking for your services. So my only suggestion with your website would just be to get some more content added onto that homepage. Not only do we, of course, want to appease Google by having those 1,500 words, but those keywords that I mentioned are also a huge component, and that's going to help out a tremendous amount in getting you to that first page of Google. So with that being said, we'll move on to the next thing, which is citations. And citations have a lot to do with this section. This is called the map pack. And a citation is basically your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, really anywhere else that will allow a business to enter those kinds of details. So you would want to check out where your competition is being listed and you want to grab those same listings for your business. But then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you want to grab those same 10, but then you want to go out and find another 20, 30, 40 for your business. That's going to have you completely dominating them in that space, but it does also help you to rank high on the maps here. So moving on to backlinks, and backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section. And the way that backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site. And it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it. But not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that you did some work with someone who owns an ice cream shop, and they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours but their link's gonna be all about ice cream. So that's not gonna be very helpful. You would wanna get links from other fencing companies and they'll send something back to your site and that will signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. And because of that, Google is going to see that backlink and find it a lot more powerful, but also more unique because it is relevant to your industry. And this is a tool that I use just so I can give you a visual representation of all these things I'm talking about. So this is your website and currently it's registering 29 referring domains, which are giving you 229 backlinks, getting you found for 85 keywords, but all of this is still only driving about nine people to your site per month. And now here's the top competitor. They have 142 referring domains which are giving them 917 backlinks, getting them found for 918 keywords, and all of this is driving about 479 people to their site per month. So let's take a look at the keywords that they're using and hopefully I can give you some examples of good ones. So with keywords, they have two components. So a good keyword or key phrase is going to list the service or industry, but it's also going to list a specific location. Um, so here's a great one, Fence Company Charlotte NC. So again, that has the industry or the service, but it also has a specific location. This key phrase in particular also is being searched 200 times per month. So that's fantastic. And you certainly want to make sure that people are actually searching for the things that you're integrating into your content as well. Uh, Fence, Charlotte, NC, another one, short, sweet, and to the point, but still very powerful. And these kind of go to show you that you can use variations of the same word or phrase, and it's still going to count as a whole new keyword. Um, and they drilled it down even further. Charlotte Fence Contractor, Aluminum Fence, Charlotte, NC. 
fence installation Charlotte NC. So these are all great ones to use um, and you can target multiple different locations. You just want to make sure that you stick within your service area. That way when someone does come across you in the search results, they're still able to use your services because you are close enough to them. So I will not bore you and have us go through all of these, but I do hope it at least, again, kind of gives you an idea of the types of things that you would want to integrate into the content on your site. And truly, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. But as I said earlier too, also making sure that you're always adding on to that. That way you are far surpassing your competition because that is really the kind of thing that will get you on that first page of Google. But that is all that I have for you today, Jason. I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you would like more information about Duff Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please contact us. We would love to talk to you. But thanks again for your time. I hope that you've had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend and we'll speak soon. Take care.